Agenda item 8, County Manager Report to the Mr. Chairman and Commissioners, you will note that in addition to the usual suspects, we are pleased to have three of our uh, firefighters. And Ashley, I'd like for you to come forward and uh, report back to the commission uh, concerning these three individuals. Yes, thank you. Um, I spoke with Mr. Pritchard and asked if, if we could um, have these three guys uh, back that are behind me here this morning just so I could report to you. Um, you know, one of the good things, you know, we're all very proud of, of all of our firefighters, and these guys are representative of the um, large organization, and, and I do appreciate all the support y'all um, <clears throat> typically provide, but I wanted to pass something along to y'all so that um, we could, you know, in a, in a larger setting, recognize their efforts. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read an email that I received from Rhonda Vanek, who is the assistant chief with um, South Georgia Medical Center's EMS services, the ambulance services. So it starts, good afternoon. I wanted to take a minute to praise the Lowndes County Fire Rescue crew from yesterday. We had a head-on collision with two critical patients. LCFR arrived first on scene and quickly assessed the patients and kept EMS informed of the changing conditions of the most critical patient until EMS could get to the scene. They safely extricated the patients and assisted EMS with treating and stabilizing. They quickly set up the landing zone and assisted with moving the one patient to the helicopter. These guys did a spectacular job from start to finish. <clears throat> I was approached this morning by a coworker at SGMC. My coworker stated that one of her RN, registered nurse friends, had been in the traffic line awaiting clearance of the scene to continue to her destination. The nurse told my coworker she walked toward the scene initially to offer help, but as she approached the scene, she witnessed Lowndes County Fire Rescue, SGMC EMS, and law enforcement working so smoothly and cohesively that she did not approach because, quote, they obviously had things under control and didn't need my help, end quote. The nurse also stated, quote, I was so impressed by how well they all worked together, end quote. <clears throat> this was shared with SGMC administration this morning in our daily safety huddle meeting. I know this is generally how most calls go, and this is next part is something that I'm, I'm very proud of as their chief. All SG, all Lowndes County Fire Rescue crews deserve a thank you from SGMC EMS. However, to get that feedback we receive from a bystander in such a chaotic and challenging situation sure goes a long way. Please make sure these guys know about these comments and we truly want to make sure they know how much we appreciated them last night. Kudos to LCFR Gary Williams, and Gary couldn't be here, he's actually um, he's our training officer and he took a couple of our other guys there up in Forsyth getting some um, valuable training this week um, but in addition to Gary Brad Carty who is here uh, Jeff Fitch and Lawrence Dow thank you from SGMC EMS so again you know this this is something that I see on a daily basis um, but to get such a um, email praising our guys um, you know, especially the fact that she's, you know, I, I was especially proud that she said this is how it goes most of the time. Uh, did not want to take it for granted what these guys do, and uh, just wanted to bring them up and, and give you all the opportunity um, to um, recognize what they do and uh, show them your appreciation as well. Absolutely. Bring them up, gentlemen. Come forward. <clears throat> Um, I just want to say, first off, we know that you're professional firefighters, but being a professional firefighter goes much further than just the professional side of it. You have to have the compassion to be able to serve the citizens, step into an emergency situation such as this that was described, and do the great job that you do based on your training, but also best based on the fact that you have a passion to serve the citizens of this community. So for that, I'm very, very appreciative as well and very, very honored to stand with you gentlemen uh, as you go forward protecting the citizens in this community. So thank you very much. Uh, very thank you, thank you,
<laughs> Thank you. <I> appreciate it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.